With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, a particle starts from point x and x is given as minus 3 by 2a that is the amplitude at t equals to 0 and move towards negative extreme as shown in the figure. So we have to calculate in a part find the equation of the SHM. Okay, simple harmonic motion and second is find the time taken by the particle to go directly from its initial position to negative extreme and the last one is find the time taken by the particle to reach at its mean position. So as you can see that O is the mean position of this particle and at t equals to 0 the value of x is given as minus 3 by 2 uh, minus root 3 by 2 a and this is the minus a amplitude minus a in minus extreme direction and this is a. So now we know that equation of displacement for SHM is given by x equal. This is the equation of displacement for SHM a sine omega t plus phi. Now at t equals to 0, at t equals to 0, the value of x is given as minus 3 by 2a. Now if I put these values in this equation, so I can write x that is root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2a that is equals to a sine omega t is 0 that means this value is 0 omega t is 0 plus phi. So a is cancel out that means the value of sine phi is coming out to be sine phi is coming out to be minus root 3 by 2 and this value of sine phi that means the value of phi will be pi plus this is minus sign that means 180 degree plus root 3 by 2 is pi by 3 so that means phi is coming out to be 4 pi by 3 this is the value of phi so I can write the equation at t equals to 0 that can be written as x equals to a sine omega t plus phi is 4 pi by 3 this is the displacement equation or SHM equation at t equals to 0 so this is the answer of part a okay now in the second part they are asking about the time taken taken to go directly from its initial position to negative extreme negative extreme means value of x will be minus a okay value of x will be minus a in negative extreme so if i put minus a in this equation i will have minus a that is equals to a sine omega t plus 4 pi by 3 now a a cancel out that means the value of sine omega t plus 4 pi by 3 is equals to minus 1 okay and the value of minus 1 that means angle is 3 pi by 2 that means this angle is omega t plus 4 pi by 3 that is equals to 3 pi by 2 because minus 1 is for the value of sine is 3 pi by 2. So from here I can write omega t that is equals to 3 pi by 2 minus 4 pi by 3 that is equals to pi by 6. Okay. So we know that omega is 2 pi by t. So I can write t equals to pi by 6 and value of omega is 2 pi by t. So it is t upon 2 pi. So pi pi cancel out. Now the value of time is coming out to be t by 12 second. So this is the time taken by the particle to reach at negative extreme. So this is the answer of B part. Now in the C part, they are asking in C part find the time taken by the particle to reach at mean position. We know that this particle is start moving from this point. That means the motion is look like this negative extreme then it is written back and it is reach at mean position O. Oh. Now at this point we know at this point when t equals to 0 at this point the phase dif phase different phase is 4 pi by 3 angle is 4 pi by 3 and at minus a the angle is 3 pi by 2 as we know here we calculate that at this time this is the angle at x equals to minus a this is equals to 3 pi by 2 so at this point the angle is 3 pi by 
2 so the difference between these 3 pi by 2 and 4 pi by 2 the this is the difference between these two points will be 4 pi by 3 minus 3 pi by 2 that means pi by 6 okay now and at o it is pi that means the difference between these two will be pi by 2 okay at o the angle is pi at t equals to 0 angle is 4 pi by 3 and as x is minus a at that time 3 pi by 2 so the difference between minus a and t equals to 0 is pi by 6 and the difference between minus a and o that is the mean position that is pi by 2 that means the total angle travel by this is pi by 6 plus pi by 2 the total travel by this object is total this distance that is pi by 6 and then this distance that is pi by 2. So I can write that total angle travel by this is pi by 6 plus pi by 2 that is equals to 2 pi by 3. Now I can write this this is omega t so omega t is basically equals to 2 pi by 3. Now omega is 2 pi by t. 2 pi by t into t that is equals to 2 pi by 3 so pi pi cancel out 2 2 cancel out so value of t is coming out to be t by 3 this is the time taken by the particle to reach at mean position this is the answer of c part that is equals to t by 3 okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today